just a few hours tonight, the City County Council will vote on whether to approve $8 million in emergency funding to repair pothole riddled streets around our area. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills is covering tonight's vote. Plus, she has one man's pushback to get his street fixed as well. Mary, what an interesting story. <laughs> well, Kurt Flock decided to have a little fun while making a statement about the city's pothole problem, and he shared it online on YouTube. Thing is, the mayor's office isn't laughing. Like many people, Kurt Flock is fed up with all the potholes. I've been very frustrated. Especially with ones like this on Mass Ave. Worst case is uh, uh, you throw out your suspension or you might get a flat tire or lose a hubcap. Uh, but and that's been happening all over the city. And yes, he has gone online to report the worst ones with mixed luck. Potholes out in front of my house have been filled a couple times with something that doesn't want to stay there. So the realtor decided to take things into his own hands. Well, there really wasn't a lot of thought behind it. It was There was the pothole and there was the plant, so I thought, well, this might be kind of fun. Flock returned to his office, got online, and got to work, making a short video called Adopt a Pothole. Uh, volunteers pitch in to fill $16 million funding gap in Indy's lame pothole repair program. Here's what follows. Flock potting a plant in that huge mass app pothole. Uh, uh, clearly we were having fun with it, but it's a serious issue. Down the street, atop the 25th floor, the mayor's office wasn't laughing, especially with this ending. Well, they thought people might be a little confused that the city could actually be running an adopt a pothole program and uh, requested that I take that reference down from the video. When he paused, he was told he might be hearing from a city attorney. I'm not going to take that down. Now, you know what? I, I actually, if they, they, they put me in jail, uh, I'm just considered a form of civil disobedience and protest, and hopefully something good happens. <laughs> <laughs> And I talked with Mark Lauder with the mayor's office, and he says they have no problem with the video or the fun that uh, uh, Kurt Flock is making about the potholes. But uh, they are concerned about that last reference, having people call the mayor's action center. Lauder said they don't want people thinking that the city is endorsing going out and putting plants in potholes. That pothole, by the way, is still there on Mass Ave. Live downtown, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.